hi guys welcome back again to my channel thank you so much for finding time once again karibu the sana if you are a new subscriber kindly make sure you subscribe to this channel turn on notification and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and welcome to this family i know you're not used to see me with this but uh, hey the light is really affecting me <laughs> that's how much time i'm spending on doing videos but anyway um we have to learn so I have to talk about something that I feel that you guys need to manifest because I feel that um sometimes some of us we we tend to like compare um our lifestyles to other people or our business uh, journey or our success uh, story or journey with other people but you you don't know that our destinies are different but um this is something that I've seen in actually a colleague of mine and i felt like i need to share so i know most of us we have different um i can say aspect about the word being successful or what does the word successful mean that is what i want to us well that is what i want us to break to break it down today so that you don't get confused so um, without further ado and kindly if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe to this channel turn on your notification and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and welcome to our family for those who are watching me for the first time my name is ivy ateno i'm a kenyan youtuber and i deal with the mtumba business so without further ado let us get into the video now like i said this is something that happened to a colleague of mine i can say not actually a colleague i will say um we're just you know I think it's just a colleague because um he does mtumba business also but um i i think i think that uh, sometimes it's difficult for us to maybe um balance when we just enter into mtumba business and it works for us when it is just you know the cash is flowing you're opening bills and bills they're 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 coming out good you know those type of uh, days or maybe it, or th those type of incidences that is where some of us go wrong so i'll just quickly mention a few things that i think he did wrong when uh for example um you start in a business you have the capital you have already uh, taken your bell and the first bell comes out to be very good and before you even reach half of the bell you've already recovered your capital now you're starting to collect the profits like I usually say, if you are new in this business, you have to reinvest your profits, meaning you have to take those profits and op and maybe take another bill. If you had recovered, maybe the bill was 19,000, you have recovered the 19K and maybe your profits are ar around 15,000, maybe next you can take another bill, maybe for example, a duvet bill. When you are starting, make sure you reinvest, reinvest your profits because you are starting and uh, this is something that is very crucial that is why most of the beginners don't um take that uh step of you know after opening bells you you start uh maybe taking a shop or maybe supplying to your any um you are dealing with delivery sorry you know because when you open in bells i expect you don't just um you, you don't just rely on the people who come at, at your shop you also have to do uh, the deliveries those people who are far uh, far away from you how do you reach them you know that is what i usually say it is growth that is what we call growth as a beginner so what this particular person did whenever they uh, he opened a bell um he recovered the capital very well and uh, for her for him sorry he had very good luck so alifungua bell akafungua bells zikakuwa zinatoka poa then um what he he did you know like for example some of us are not fortunate enough um to maybe recover the capital on that same day maybe it will take like two three days you'll have recovered your capital but for him on that day or actually on the first day he sometimes um he recovered sometimes it took the three days so when the maybe the process of recovering the capital will have taken three days so you'll find the first day maybe he has sold around ten thousand the next day maybe five or maybe the next day three you know uh, i'm just giving an example 
So, because he sees I still have stock and I've sold 10k and the remaining stock are still hot cake, I will sell. So, if, um, you know, like he was like, if I just use this, I think I'm going to recover it the next day. Now, using the money is not even the issue. What are you using the money for? What are you taking? You know, if it was to take another bell, it is understandable. Maybe you don't want um you don't want to to spend that cash that's why you're, you're getting a bell immediately that's why i usually tell you from one bell you can even get two or three bells it just depends on the pricing how you deal with the you with your pricing with your with your clients so for him um he had uh so many friends who are very 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 luxurious i can say that they're living a very luxurious life so this person, you know, he's just dealing with Mtumba, opening, and he has started. But he's seeing that Mtumba is giving him cash. On one day, he can even sell 10,000 shillings. So he's telling himself, what about those coming days? You know, and some of you, I think you do that. So you spend this 5K, and you say, I still have stock. I'm going to sell, and the money will be recovered. Please never do that. So like I said, using the money was not an issue. But what was he using the money for? Buying things. That he, he didn't need in his home because somebody owns a flat flat screen you also need to to uh to to own a flat screen somebody owns a, a fridge you also need to own a fridge you know it is something which is not even business wise that is something that you should do after do you feel do you feel that you have um you have recovered your capital you have had your profits have you balanced your lifestyle you know that is when these things come after. But if you're a beginner, I don't even encourage that you do these things in the first two, three months. Because you're still holding your business in your hands like this. So, that is what some of us, or maybe the beginners do. You use your cash on that day and say, I still have stock. I'm going to sell the remaining stock that I have and they will recover this cash that I've used. Please stop doing that. You are making a big and huge mistake. That is where you go wrong. That is where you never come back to, to buy bells. You know, you are given a good bell. You have seen that now I'm selling. I can even sell 5K. I can even sell 15,000 in a day. Some of us even sell 30K in a day. But you know, it is just planning. Plan yourself. Plan yourself. How do you want to, you know, do you want this 30,000 to get you two bells? Do you want this 30,000 to, you know, just plan yourself. That is how you're going to go through. Now, let us come to the part of successful. What does successful mean? Um, I know most of you will be like, to be a successful Mutumba businesswoman or lady or a man, you know, you need to have three shops, two shops, you need to have a big house, you need to live a luxurious life. My friend, that is not being successful. Being successful actually means if you can balance your, your, your business, if you have staffs, so you can pay them, that is being successful. If you can manage whatever you have, that is being successful because you'll not have debts, that is being successful. What, what is unsuccessful about this whole story is you are using your business money to, um, I can say, to maintain your lifestyle that is high, you cannot even maintain. That is something which is unsuccessful. Now, let me just take you back. I know most of us we don't uh we don't own shops, we don't have um you know we just deal with maybe open air markets. No worries, there is no worry. And let me tell you something. Come when ulam to when you unendanga open air market, and you pass uh, these ladies or men who sell at the open air markets, and you just look down on them. Trust me, those people have cash. Because there is no way an area you will know, maybe a certain date, the, it's a market day and you stop going. You cannot. You will still go shop for maybe groceries. You will still go and shop for clothes. And even, even if you did not even have a plan to buy clothes, you will buy. So these people have money. Now let me, talk, let me talk to you guys who are in the open air market. Being successful, my dears, it is not graduating from that space that you are to a shop. That is not being successful. Where you are there, you're already successful. Why? Because if you can pay your school fees, your your, your kids' school fees, you are very you are already successful. 
if you can pay your school your kids school fees you're very successful if they can they can even wake up in the morning have breakfast you know they have they have they have breakfast that that is already your successful parent you're a successful human being because you can go to work is easy minded because you know my kid is in school haja haja school fees you know you're already a successful person if you can cater for your 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 your, your family's medic, medical issues or emergencies you already you are already a successful person because first thing if you don't invest in these things that they might occur in the future they're going to be very expensive when they when they find you so if you can balance your NHIF, my dear, your family members are well sorted, they can get uh, medication, or they can be treated, my friend, you're already a successful person. If you can maintain how you look, you can, you can make your hair, you can buy your clothes, you know, you can smell good, my friend, you're already a successful person. So don't wait to use your, your, your business money to do some things that are not, you know, that are not even in your plan, my friend. Some of I know as ladies we are impulse buyers, but remember also, if you are in business, please have that principle for the cash that you have in your business, or else you're going to be doing zero work. When you balance your books, they're not going to be balanced, my dears. Please, being successful, it is. Uh, you can manage your daily expenses. You know. And, you know, by, by managing is you don't need to, you know, you don't need to get into debts so that you can maintain how you live, you know. And if, lastly, if I can finish, if you can also, you know, start thinking about purchasing a land and paying in installments. My friend, you're already a successful person, not because you have the cash, but because you are thinking in that direction, you're already a successful person. And if you can also manage to, you know, just treat your kids, treat yourself, and you just sometimes you say you, you just say I'm having this day, I, I'm I'm having this day for myself. You're already a successful person because you're thinking about your health. You're thinking something outside your business, and that is that comes after you have already tried, even if not balance, you've tried to balance your business. Nothing you know. So for those people who have been using their money their first their first cash money for doing useless things let me just say that because if it is not if it is not adding any value to your business and in your life it's a useless thing if you've been opening a bill that day and you're using that cash for unnecessary things use that cash even to pay a bill you know i like i said here at this we have lipam dogom dogo which means sorry which means if you don't have the exact cash and you need a bill for maybe 15k you pay like in three installments you can pay five you can pay five you can pay five 15k it's already finished and you take your bill so if you don't have that principle of maybe taking um uh, you, you know like putting your cash together and get a bill please make sure you can also follow that step send to the supplier that you're dealing with if he or she accepts what i do of which i know that not all of us can afford to get the uh, full cash to get to to purchase a bill so if you can do that then you're doing a very very big boss move so wake up don't be like this person that i'm talking about and i feel that some of you do that because when you see cash is flowing, you've never sold or maybe you have never touched 10K in a day. You think now every day is going to be the same. My friends, you're very wrong. In our businesses, sometimes even for me, I wake up at the shop. We are just talking from morning to evening. You have not sold, but you still close your shop and smile and go home. That is how business is. Also for you, when it reaches that in that area or, or maybe in that perspective, don't feel that now you're failing. No, there are those days. You can even go for two, three days you have not sold. So that is how business is and it is very challenging. So for those people who are maybe coming into um, Tumba business, beginners, as we're even approaching the elections, I said meditate for what you want don't go and sleep if corona taught you something stay on your toes thank you so much guys keep on subscribing i will see you in the next video bye guys